we are back on a Saturday morning with a little help to get you over winter's last month. If you're still fighting cabin fever as we wait for spring's arrival, we have some ways to help you do that. So first up, great gadgets with today's tech contributor, Mario Armstrong. Mario, good morning to you. Good morning to you, too. You have a lot so here. Awesome Let's here. get started. Yes, what do we, we start gotta, with? We're going to wind down first with some gloves to keep these fingers warm. These are A gloves. Okay. The A gloves allow us to swipe and type on our phones. Nice. So that's really, really good. So you can still do all that email and texting you want to do. Okay. And then you have the Noise Hush Bluetooth. Bluetooth ear phone ear no way. with a mic. Yes. So you can actually make and receive calls with these, keep your ears warm, play music, and all of that, and then some from noise. And house. they're warm. And they're warm. Now this is available at the Amazon Electronics <laughs> Store. They're I awesome. I want to keep them on, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> all right, they what's great next? On you too with yes. what you're wearing. All right, so a big problem is uh, seasonal affective disorder, people yeah. not being able to wake up well. Yeah. You want to have natural light. The Philips Go Blue Light awesome for this. This is a lightweight portable lamp okay. that basically mimics the sunrise. Mm. It's really, really, it has music, it has a snooze button, you just tap it, it's awesome. I use it to wake up and I feel it's super needed. charged. All right, last but not and least. And last but not least, virtual reality is real. Only 99 bucks for this. This is what Samsung is it? VR powered by Oculus. You put this on and you can play a ton of games with the family or you can, like I'm doing right now, I'm swimming underwater, which makes me feel like I'm on a virtual vacation. This is so, and as you move left to right? I'm seeing everything. The sharks, I'm seeing fish. I can see the top of the water right there. I want to get out and of the water. And how much is that? I want to get out. Only 99 bucks. Really? You put your phone, your Android phone, right in there. 99 bucks, and you're up and running. You never disappoint. Thank you. Thank you so much for Dylan, having me. Dylan, I feel like you would like half of these. Like, these are fantastic. <laughs> yes. I feel like I'd like all of them. I know. Chanel, thank you very much. And uh, if it's too cold outside on a Saturday night, there's plenty you can do inside. We have Tara Bench here from TaraTeaspoon.com, food and lifestyle director. And uh, I love this for couples who just want to stay inside. Yeah, so we're going to talk about what you can do with your spouse or boyfriend or couple or, you know, significant other. And it's a blanket fort. Blanket forts and, and indoor camping is not just for kids. So if you're at home and having cabin fever, set up a tent, put some blankets in there. You can have a game tournament. Um, entertain yourself that way. The game tournament can go all year. Of course, you want snacks and mood lighting. So and, and the make it romantic, make else. it fun. And if this TP's rocking. You, you yeah, know. yeah. Don't <laughs> come up. Yeah, don't lift that blanket corner. Right. I love the girl party <laughs> idea. So this is for your girlfriends. So you can have a spa night. Spa outings are so expensive. So do your own. You can make your own cuticle oil. Use these great products from kits and share them and treat each other and do facials and your nails and everything. So just feel pretty. And of course, you need some night. favorite things. Some examples you have here. So throw a girls' night favorite things party. They're very trendy and popular and there's different ways to do it. You can swap your favorite things gifts. So everybody brings a gift and swaps it. I would bring chocolate chip cookies. Those are my favorite I things. I love the cookies. I love the wine. This is one of my favorite things. It's from Rituals. It's actually a shower I want to see how this works. I just works. want to show you Ooh. this. It comes out like a gel and then when you mix it with water it foams up so nice and has such nice oh, scents too. That is all a different good scents. favorite. Thing. I actually stole my husband's from the shower this morning. <laughs> That's so. perfect. Um, yeah, rinse your hands off. We also have some fun. So with this the is family for the kids. Too. Get the whole family involved. This is bubble art. So you mix some paint and soap and water and blow. We can do this together. <laughs> okay. So the paint goes on, Put it the, on and then there. you just separate yep. that. And you're creating gorgeous art with oh, bubbles, really and you can neat. frame it. Everybody can get involved. Oh, that's such a great yeah, idea. Look yeah. at Tara. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Craig, we're headed over to you. All right. George to the rescue is here. You know, even though we still have a month of winter left, it's not too soon to get your house ready for spring. George Oliphant, host of George to the Rescue, and we've got a quiz here about what we should or should not be doing right now to get our house ready. Let's play. All right. So Dylan said it's going to be a beautiful weekend. There's a lot of stuff you should and should not be doing around your house. Should you clear out dead trees? tree limbs and vines now, or do you want to wait for spring pruning? Let's wait until spring because it's warmer. Wrong. Do it now before things start taking root and before all those new vines come up. You want to clear it all out now, especially if it's a beautiful day. That's true. There's nothing holding it in. Clean your yards now. Allow everything to grow up and be okay. beautiful in the spring. Question two. Should you climb on your roof to inspect for trouble spots caused by winter weather or inspect from the ground? Inspect from the ground. Very smart, my yeah. friend. Never get on your roof. What are you going to do once you get up there? You're, you're not going to be bringing up the, no. the, all the materials to fix it. Get some binoculars, walk around your house, look for places where you think there might be trouble, and then bring in some pros to fix it for right, you. Here's the tiebreaker. All right. Should you wait to clean your attic in the warmer months or get started now? Now. Yes, you ah. nailed it. 
No, that's what I'm talking about. Most attics don't have air conditioning, so you don't want to get up there in the summer when it's hot and stifling. Get in there now. Start doing that work before all the heat and the dust is up there. You're going to help. You're going to thank yourself a lot in the spring. You got one more? Last question. Bonus question. Should you take your vents off the wall to clean them, or should you leave them on? That's a good question. Hmm. Take them off. Leave them on. Leave them on. It's all right. We'll give you a tie, you know. You. Um, there's, there's no reason to go unscrewing all of them and cleaning them. You can get a spatula. You can get a butter knife. You put a, a wet paper towel on and go in, clean them out. You go, go over them with a vacuum. That's all you really need to do. All right. George Oliphant, thank you so there much. You have we it. learned.